When you work out, it's important to have the proper equipment. We're not talking about expensive machines or other hardware. We're talking about simple things that will make your exercise more effective. Lorene Cachola joins us with some tips on what we should have on hand to look good and feel great. Lorene? Well, Joe, we're talking about everything from simple things you can use to protect yourself to things you can use to protect yourself from others. And here to help us with this is personal trainer Wendy Holmes with some items that we should have on hand when we're working out. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Wendy. for having me. So take me on the tour. We have some really interesting things, some things I'm not even really sure. Yes, what I brought they are. gadgets today. Uh, let's start with hot yoga items. Hot yoga is very popular right now. And um, so one of the things that's gonna happen in hot yoga is you're gonna sweat. This mat. <laughs> yes, you're gonna sweat. You're gonna use your yoga mat and you're gonna sweat a lot. So you're gonna want maybe a yoga towel. You, you could use just a plain towel, but a yoga towel is gonna have these grips here on the bottom so that it will adhere to your mat and not slide all over the place. You're not gonna slide all over the place. And these, these are gonna, rec th these range from 15 to $80. And let me just tell you, the $15 ones work just fine. So the key is if they have this that you can flip on and put on the mat exactly. and this They're, absorbs this. Correct, thing. they're machine washable, the whole thing. Very user friendly, you're gonna want those. So with all that sweating you're gonna do in hot yoga, you're gonna want it to hydrate. And we have found that coconut water is a great way to hydrate. It has natural sugars in it and not a lot of added sugar. Do read the label and make sure you're purchasing one that has that. And a lot of times you can just uh, take your water bottle and do half water, half uh, coconut water. And we like this better than Gatorades that add some added, added sugars that you just don't really need, but you are going to sweat a lot, so you want to hydrate. And I like the idea of um, putting it with water because this can get expensive if you're drinking It can drinking get expensive, one. and people don't love the taste, but really, um, you, 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 because you get so hot and you get so thirsty, having cold water and some of the coconut water, you won't, you won't miss it. It won't be so bad. Now, here I see some weights that we have. Yes, yeah, so I brought with me a, uh, this is a vinyl covered weight, and we like it because it's really safe to use. It, it allows you to get a really good grip on it. Um, you might not have uh, access to all the, this type of weight. So if you're using just a metal weight, you might want to use a weight glove because some people tend to really sweat a lot in their palms and their feet. So make sure you have a good grip on the weight so you don't drop it and hurt yourself. But really one of my other favorite things is to have a program Try not to go in the weight room without um, some idea of what you're going to do because going in there making it up, not, not really good results. So this is so that you can keep track, you want to overload in your program, so make sure you work with someone at your gym or a personal trainer and get what's best for you. That's great. And I can, you have about 15 items there. I can see where that would be a lot easier than making it exactly. up. Exactly. Um, we have a very familiar item here, the bike helmet. Yeah, so cycling is another great um, exercise that's really popular right now, but you don't want to leave home without your helmet. Um, we still see a lot of families riding together and the kids tend to be in helmets, but not the adults. Adults get your helmets. They make them in great colors now. I mean, they're still not really cute, but they're functional and they, do, they will protect you. So do look into that. Um, another great uh, thing about uh, almost all sports now are sunglasses or sport glasses. And they're designed for, uh, believe it or not, they have different ones for your activity. <laughs> so one, obviously, a sunglass, sunglasses will work, but if you find yourself getting very interested in running or cycling, you might find yourself really drawn to the glasses for that sport. And, um, and if, with polar, these are polarized lenses? Absolutely, that. which is another great thing. You know, if, you, if you're working out during the day, you do want to protect your eyes from the sun and you do want polarized um, lenses to do that. And they still make that polarized with your sport glasses. And I see here this trusty flashing light, day or night, hook it on your shirt, on your back of your vest or your shirt or even your bike have it flashing for the drivers to alert them that you're on the road and you're trying to share the road. And this is an easy one. You can use it for a lot of different yes, things. Yes, very versatile. It just clips on. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now I see these, the shuffle. This is important, I, I right? I brought some headphones to say that this is what you don't ah. want to take on, the, on, your, on your exercise. But everybody uses these. Everyone uses them. But as a caution and as safety, we must say that um, you know, if you're gonna wear them, maybe one earbud in, the other out. Um, the other thing to say about it is a lot of people are taking now their phones for safety, for GPS, and the music can be played out loud and it hooks to your bike or a belt that you're wearing while walking. Right, so you can be aware of what's going on around you and still enjoy your workout. Exactly. 
Well, thank you so much. Really great advice. You always bring really great things Thanks in. Thanks for having me. And join us next time for more ways to look good and feel great. Mm -hmm.